Yes, someone is trying to steal our videos. Can you believe that? The first thing that we did to paint the deck was remove the hatches. All the hatches. It was a long work because the hatches was fixed with uh, screws and a lot of Sika flex. Hard work, but work it. But the hatches was really, really a mess with epoxy, uh, with uh, tape, and really hard to clean. Well, Du did a very, very amazing job to clean the, all the Sika, and I did a, a long job to try to make better. The acrylic is uh, cracked because of the age. I need to change in the future, but it's working well. Sadly, that time we didn't have camera to film. We removing the, the hatches and you cleaning the, the hatches. It was a long work, but uh, we have no filming about that. Now a little bit work, a lot of work to clean the hatches.
now is just repeat this 12 times. Looking for all the options, the valve options that we have available here, polypropylene is our choice. But to be sure, we need to test the valves. Yes, I really enjoy crash tests, burning tests, things like that. Things like Mythbusters. It's really fun. And as we need to do the tests for the... Mm -hmm. As we need to do the test for the valves, well, why not do an extra test, a crash test, just to be sure, or to have some fun. This is the valve that we made the tests. Have some damage, but let me try here. Mr. Friday lost this this part here on the shipyard, but let me show you. Still working. Seal, seal, completely seal. And if I want, open the valve, even with all the damage, it's here. A rig. Look here. Still easy to open. Let me check. I think it's the this way. Yeah, this way. That's the right way. Oh, sorry. Here. Even with all the damage that I did, the valve is still working and still sealed. Some good things on the polypropylene is uh, it's a plastic, thermoplastic that uh, can work in high temperatures up to 150 celsius degrees i don't remember in fahrenheit but i will write here for you it's high chemical resistance even if i'm not wrong with uh, it can resist for some time with uh, sulfuric acid i think not uh, high concentration but uh, can work with barnacles algae anything that normally grows on the hull cannot really fix on the polypropylene if you just pass a cloth on, on the, the valve it's clean uh, nothing can grow really grow and grow root on the on the polypropylene that is our choice is that why we choose that
I need another lens for the GoPro. Can you see that? <laughs> As we did in all the screws on the deck or all the screws through the wood, first we open the hole for the screw, then we add epoxy on the hole and let the wood absorb the epoxy and make a protection. Then we open the hole again through the epoxy and then we can fix the screw. Why we did that is Typically, the screw is the piece that brings water to the wood. With time and movements, the water flows to the hole through the screw and the wood absorbs this water, grow fungus, bacteria, and the wood get rotten without you know. When you do this process and you add epoxy and let the wood absorb the epoxy, you seal the wood in this place. If the water comes in, the wood will not absorb because the epoxy, epoxy avoid the wood to absorb the water and the water pass through the hole, drop inside the boat. And you can see that it's dropping and you protect the wood in this place. That's why.
did I install the hatches? Duke and Roberta from Odd Life Crafting channel was here and helped me with the seals of the hatches. Sadly, I have no pictures, no videos about that. I called Duca and asked him if he has something, picture or video, anything, but uh, I have nothing. Well, I just can say, Roberta and Duca, thank you! This bathroom, that is the stand bathroom, had no hatches, no at all, and was really dark. The air doesn't circulate a lot on the bathroom. We made a decision to install this hatch. And now the bathroom is really light and the air flows very well. We did that on this bathroom and then another one, let me show you. This one was dark too, but we install this hatch and now it's really bright and the air moves a lot. It helps a lot. I was feeling lost in the ashes of my life. And she told me about her idea for the guitar, her page of guitar, and I tried to do that. Well, why are you so mad and cursing so much? Because I'm trying to tune the guitar and I broke the first, the last string here, and I changed. I change the string and I was tuning and broken again. Now I'm changing again the string. No way. Yes way. I'm trying to to do your your song. Oh my song? Yes. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Really, Again. Fred? Again! You know what? What? How you do with four strings? <laughs> Are you sure? No! <laughs> but sounds nice! Yeah, really. Sounds nice, right? Yeah, I think it's better. Feeling lost in the ashes of my life. A gray hurricane spinning fast in all my mind. Myself falling to pieces, I should do a more than art. Let the cows rest in peace so I can paint. Yeah, weird, but two days ago we received a notification from YouTube that someone claimed that have the rights for our videos, besides the last three, all of the videos. And I'm not talking about an image or a footage or, or soundtrack, nothing. It's the entire video. It's the entire video. Strange is the name the person or the company that make the claims 
it's supposed to be on the page that say that someone are telling that they are the owners of the rights but shows nothing well I read a lot about it and this is a kind of read that uh, some people are doing on YouTube I have other types but uh, this one of this this kind of heat they claim and who claims for YouTube who claims have the rights and in YouTube they write the owner of the rights claim it and you can discuss but the decision is made from the person that made the claims Precious forces down, but we stood up. For who that don't know us, we do the footage, and it's just me and you on the videos. All the soundtracks, all the songs, all the, all the musics, we compose, we record, we do the arrangements, we mix, we master all the songs, all the soundtracks. Uh, all the drones uh, footage. I'm I'm the person that do that does that. All the animation. You work a lot of all the animations. Means we do everything. The content is about our life, about uh, our music, about uh, our work on the boat, about our life on the boat, and some other things that we like, like some things about history or things like that some sometimes we include this kind of thing and uh, this not make sense but it's happening right now right now I set up a dispute for the rights YouTube have 30 days well YouTube wait 30 days to the person that claims they uh, they have the rights tell if they agree or not if they doesn't agree they were, the right goes to them and then we can try uh, extra dispute from YouTube and see what happens if we lose the rights we lose the channel that is a fact but uh, we are fighting and we will keep fighting that's not the first time that someone trying to ruin our life we we live the hell in the past that is not the time to talk about it but it's a fact besides the problems the content of this video is still on the video you can see and we are working more videos we will not give up and we are fighting Precious love.